Going back to the image quality for a second, it still has the three lenses that the Mavic 3 Pro has, but now you've got better quality on all three of those. So I felt like the images were a little soft on the Mavic 3 Pro. Mavic 4, the images just look sharper, more crisp, not as much grain and noise, which I always appreciate because it makes those even more usable when you're utilizing that parallax or longer focal lengths on the tele lenses. In the main camera, and I believe the 70 millimeter camera, you're now getting an F2 aperture definitely on the main one but that f2 aperture gives you an increase in one stop of light from the Mavic 3 Pro so that just makes it even easier to shoot in low light gives you one stop more light so you can reduce your ISO when shooting in darker environments and it just is a really nice feature to have two other things I noticed just in a practical sense of using the drone I noticed that you can now charge these batteries in parallel but now you can have them simultaneously charging, which is more efficient. The other thing I noticed was just the overall speed of everything. So when you're switching modes on the controller, when you're changing frame rates, when you're switching from photo to video, it's just faster. There's a little bit of lag, especially on my DJI RC controller with the Mavic 3 Pro, and it just takes a couple seconds for everything to change over. But this just felt more efficient, and it saved me a little bit of headache and frustration, especially when I'm shooting in fast-paced environments.